here. Yeah. We'll get the hang of well, one how later. are you doing, Ruth? <laughs> I'm huh? fine. Absolutely fine. Too busy. Too busy, which is a shame because the more busy we are, the more scams are happening. Well, I would really like to thank you very much for doing this with me today. I really do appreciate it. We need to spread the word. I mean, the only thing that's going to stop scams is people knowing about it. I totally it. agree with They're you 100%. Stop, you know. So, um, if you don't mind me asking, what enticed you to start your Scam Haters United? I do enjoy your page. Um, anger, more than anything. Um, my, hus my husband died 14 years ago, and... Um, I mean, you know, you, you don't think about a lot of things, you know, when it when it happens. A couple of years later, I made a Facebook page and I went on, you know, did it and put widow. Right. It's not a nice word, but you put it on because that's your status. And within a few weeks, I <gasps> was the most attractive widow in the world. I, I had four star generals after me. Everybody, really. So one of them, I sort of... I, I, I have to say I was lucky. I Ooh. think I got the worst scammer in the world first. But it, it, he was he was pretending to be a four-star general. He was using the pictures of a German singer. So the man wasn't even a general. And he, his English, thankfully, was bad. So I was curious. My husband used to be a police officer when he was alive. He was one for 30 years. And I worked for the police, not as a police officer, but I worked for the police. So we fairly um, not yeah. trusting people. You know, we like proof. And, and so I just absolutely um, Googled the life out of it. And I found romance scams and it was mm. so odd, you know. So I talked to this one for a while until he got too pushy about the money. So, you know that ended it um and then i just did a lot of research a lot of talking to people a lot of research and after a couple of years again um i, I sort of got as far as i could with my research my uh -huh. knowledge at that point you know and i was trying to help out some of the pages but what they were saying to me if i wanted to put something on their page they would say to me oh you can't do that we want proof of scam I wanted it so that I could put, if you are contacted by these pictures, it's a scam. So I wanted yeah. to warn before the scam happened, not not wait till after it had. So just one night I was literally watching television and I thought, I'm sick of this. I just can't find. There would have been out there. I'm not saying there wasn't. There would have been out there what I was looking for, but I couldn't find it at the time. So I started a page. Now, scam haters, because by that time, boy, did I hate them. And United, because I was watching football, well, soccer, you call it, um, on TV. And the, the team was Manchester United. Um, and I thought, yeah, United's a team. United is an effort where everybody comes together, you know. So it wasn't a random name. That was the name I, because that was my ambition all those years ago. And... And basically, it just took off from there. I mean, the, the page we've got at the moment is our third incarnation because I think we were maybe reported away the first couple. But this one's been stable for a very long time. Um, and it was just simply to put on pictures and, you know, this is not who you're talking to. These are the pictures they are using. These are the stories they are using. And honestly, I'm yeah. shocked, Katie. Yeah. Completely shocked at, at what was coming at me from, from, from women that, was, that were contacting me, that were talking to me. I remember the very first woman I spoke to, and we've gone that 12 years, had lost $21,000. And I was thinking, how? You know, because... I knew it was there. I knew it was, I mean, I know a lot more now and, and I don't say how now. Um, but it was just so much money. It was, And there are still more 
you know, the money that is going over oh, to yeah. scammers it's, is eye It's disgusting. And yeah, like last August, you know, I'm single. I'm not actively looking for someone, but and but I absolutely love golden retriever puppies. So it's like <laughs> Yeah, like that's my daily delight. I yep. love anything mm -hmm. related to golden retriever puppies. They're absolutely adorable. So last August, um, I was on one of the yep. Facebook groups and I, you know, I commonly like and love them, the photos on that group all the time. And so there was this one photo I loved. It was of this man who had like he had muscly arms and a, like covered with tattoos. So I clicked the love button and it said cute. I just said cute because that puppy was adorable. Then I just, you know, get up and get a glass of water or something. Then I come back and then I get a friend request from him. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I mean, his dog's cute. Like, what do I have to lose? I don't normally, like, friend strangers because it's a crazy yeah. world out there. Yeah. But I... I, you know, I thought he was a cute guy. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll get, I'll chat with you. See, see what happens. See what comes of it. So I accepted his friend request. And then we started chatting. We chatted for like four hours on the Facebook chat. Seemed like we have a lot in common. And <laughs> he said that the dog, his dog's name was Charlie. And he had him since he was two days old because his mom had supposedly died from a tapeworm. And then he told me the story about how his fiance, 15 year old son, had died in a car crash three years ago. And I'm like, okay, this guy seemingly has had some tragedies, so I'll just be nice, play it cool, see what happens. So as days go yeah. on, basically was saying i love you and he changed like he changed his facebook chat theme to the love theme i didn't even know you could do that like i'm not a super techie if you know what I'm yeah. so <laughs> you know like it kind of made me cringe and i'm just like all right i'm just gonna be passive aggressive he was yeah. saying i love you and all that and i was dodging that stuff by saying I'll see you uh, later because how in the hell do you fall in love with someone just solely over the internet? I haven't even heard their voice. Yeah. yeah. And 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 so quickly, I mean they don't even they don't even let anything develop. Yeah. Just, like, bang, there there's are, nothing there. You? How do you love someone you don't know? Like you've never even seen them yeah. face to face. Like I could yeah. believe in love at first sight up to a point. That's happened to people before. Uh that I'll believe up to a point, but over the internet, come on. No way. But we yeah. yeah. We chatted for about five days or so and it, and I was talking about wanting my own golden retriever puppy someday. He says to me, oh, we'll make sure it's a girl. I wouldn't want Charlie to be alone. And we have Charlie. And I I was furious, basically. He was making me uncomfortable. I'm like, I'm him. And I said, no, you yeah. have Charlie. We're not a couple. Give me a break. Yeah. Oh. So by now you're almost married. So he acts like a child. He goes, I don't know what to say. And then I just, you know, like, I left the conversation, and, like, two hours later, I went back on our thread, and it said that he had vanished. And I'm like, All right, um, maybe I did upset him, or maybe he's acting like a child and he's pouting in his own corner. And so about five or six days after that, I find that he's on again, and I'm like, hey, where did you disappear to? And then he goes, Oh, well, you said you weren't ready for a relationship, and I guess I should stop trying to hurt myself over love. And I just said to him, like, okay, you've never heard my voice. We've never personally met. You are pushing things yeah, this is way too hard. And then I said... I don't mind continuing to chat with you because he seemed like an honorable guy, supposedly. He was a Marine. And supposedly his name was Joe Lucas. Yeah. So, okay. Like, and then he said that he had to go and 
his military assignment in Lebanon because like he had to come home, I guess, because his mom was having health issues with like blood pressure. All right. So we were supposedly like chatting while he was in Lebanon, which was totally a lie. I found out later, but you know, I like, we just like talked for a while every day. I actually looked forward to talking to him because, he wasn't being nearly as pushy, even though he was saying, I love you. And then he goes, am I building any trust with you at all? I'm like, the way you build trust with someone is when you actually meet them first. But I said, I'm opening to talking to you. And so that occurred for like the first three weeks or so. Then he messages me and asks me to give like give him some money somehow because he said that the food on base tasted terrible and I'm like well you know what I have my own gut health issues so I empathize with like picky food eaters basically because I'm a pro at that I'll admit so he was either <laughs> trying to get me to set up bitcoin for him I I'm not doing that I don't want, uh -huh. like, my bank account information with a total stranger. I won't even use my credit card out in because, like, someone can always hack into the internet and get that information. I yeah. learned that the hard way. I've been hacked into five times, so I won't even do that anymore. And then he goes, well, you could do it through a Sephora gift card. And I'm like, well, all right, I mean... Yeah, he was supposedly hey, that in Lebanon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I didn't even think that this was a scam at the time. I really wish I would have Googled it, but thankfully it was only for $200. And I said to him point blank that I can't do this for you. You're going to have to find your own way of dealing with your banking. But yeah, like we kept flirting and he kept asking like money help no because there was another time after like the second time he said that he needed help to complete his munitions assignment that i would help him set up a bank account and i'm like i am not comfortable doing that i would not even do that for most of my family members that's ridiculous so yeah and like i yelled at him i'm like and besides, I have a hard time believing that the military would want to have anything, would want, like, average civilians to have anything to do with their ammunitions. Like, something just didn't feel right about it. Yep. So, yeah, yep. like, I, I was mad at him. And then the next morning, he just says, hi. And I'm like, um, hi. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, don't greet me like that. And so... I'm like, fine, whatever. Just don't ask me for any banking help. Oh, someone says that they yeah. can only hear you. How am I just hearing? I, yeah. I, huh. Yeah, well, I can hear you perfectly, so. All right, well. Hmm. Yeah, so the next time okay. after that, he said that he really needed to get home because his mom was having high blood pressure issues again and the guy was a fool and asked me for seven hundred dollars and i'm like no and then he goes well ask your friends and i'm like i can't do that that's that's wrong and like deep down i knew something was wrong because the military pays for all expenses yeah i mean it's the, the idea that the military would say your mom's ill? Oh, well, if you can't get money off the woman you've never met, you're going to have to stay. Yeah, here. like, just the military not deals with all of that. They're far more organized. And then, <sighs> like, he still, like, tried getting money from me weekly, like, trying to get me to set up Bitcoin. And then, the la then he finally broke things off with me because, like, we hadn't even talked for four days, like, before his last attempt. He told me he needed $200 to transport his luggage home. And I'm like, I don't believe this. 
Like, no way. The Marines would take care of that. And besides, Marine guys, they basically just carry around duffel bags. Yeah. 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 On the back, and it goes in the car. Yeah. So, yeah, like, that's a total scam right there. And I didn't even look that up. Like, I just knew deep down in my gut. And besides, my cousin was a Marine for four years, and he never made any of those requests. So he goes, yeah. okay, yeah. it's over. There is no me and you. And I'm like, you know what? Like, just looking at the full picture, I would not want to financially support someone my whole life. But yeah, I mean, this is always my thing, Katie. I mean, I'll this doubt it, you know, considering, consider he might be real. We know he's not, but, you know, would anybody really wants a relationship for life with somebody yeah, who's crouched that's, the money from them all the time? That's what, like, I you was thinking budget. about. And not only that, I did talk to him on the phone about three times, and he did not even sound amazing. I could not even catch his voice to his body. Yeah. And I just knew that something creepy was happening. Yeah. And not only that, but he wanted to chat on the WhatsApp app, and I had never even heard of it before then, and... Like, then I did, like, my own Googles and researching, and, like, that's a total scam. And I asked to FaceTime with him, and he goes, yeah. oh, the military does not allow that. And then doing some research later on, the military actually encourages their members to FaceTime with their family members because they're gone for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah, like, that was a total scam. And then, yeah. you know, like, two months later, like, he's... He asked me for my address to give me the $200 back, which I had never gotten back. So about three months later, like, I yeah. I just had a feeling something was off. Like, I wasn't, like, super worried because I'd only lost $200, and I never gave him any of my personal account info. So I didn't have that to worry about. But then, um, I was, like, I was just, like, looking at – like his photos and just trying to find any clues of like his true identity and I'm like I just have the feeling that he's not who he said he was so what yeah. like I googled yeah. like reverse image search and then I found the social catfish database so I ran all his photos through there and his name was not Joe Lucas whatsoever his real name is Dan Evans, and yeah, like, I have followed him, and I noticed that you had followed him, too. Yeah. Like, so, it's his photos that are being used for catfishing, and I... Yeah, yeah usually, usually, if we're following them, we follow them for that, because we try, yeah, we try like and help right them now, where we can with Yeah, like, right now, five accounts, yours included, of course, but yeah, I... I followed Dan first because I, I'm just like, like when I found his profile at first, like goosebumps, like went through my whole body because all yeah. the photos that Catfisher had ever sent to me came from, like, I was just, I was beside mm -hmm. myself. It's like, oh my, like the real name is Evans. His dog's name yeah. is not Charlie, it's Bella. And yeah, his mom is not what? Well, is a girl anyway. Yeah, so Bella. What, Charlie I'm was like, a girl what anyway. What a joke. And like <laughs> I was just like shocked for about three hours and then I also found his phone number on the social catfish database and I actually called him and told him what was happening and he was very surprised to hear from me. Go figure that. Like I told Dan Evans everything. And he goes, yeah, I know someone's catfishing my photos. I don't know how to stop it. And I'm like, huh, maybe I can make an effort to do that. The, the thing is, there are so many. I mean, you know, there's not one person using Dan Evans. There is hundreds. You know, they will barter. They, you know, they will barter. They will say something like they want to buy in some old face older aged facebook or instagram accounts and in return they'll give them a set of pictures so you know the set of pictures 
it's just like top trumps cards to, to scammers. They don't care who's in them. So you will have, they all work as a team. So they've got a dozen of them working on it. But you see, you'll have every single one of them are used by tens to hundreds of teams. Mm. So they, you know, the, 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 the pictures get saved on their laptops. and that's Yeah, it. That's like not only that, They're but there. I... I already do like firmly believe that I was talking more than more because the voices were different because the guy I was talking to at first, like he like yeah. seemed to use more proper English. Whereas like much of the time, like this one catfisher I was speaking to, like he had a lot of typos and stuff like that. Like not only that, yeah. Yeah. his Facebook profiles, yeah. <laughs> like they like continuously disappeared and he didn't really have that, like, much activity on there either. And I'm like, yeah, but something about this just isn't right. And yeah. I did not even know that this was a scam. I just went with the mentality. It's like, I'm not giving personal information no matter what. Like, even if their tragic stories are true, which his wasn't. Yeah. Like, Oh, they love tragedy. You know, you, you, you'll, you'll often get, um, um, you know, the wife's dead, car crash, uh -huh. cancer, or child, you know, the, the, the children are dead, or there's one left in a boarding school, yeah. uh, mother and father are dead, siblings all died, you know, honestly, you, you, the more uh -huh. tragedy they can bring in, they think. Oh, yeah, and like, I did up to a point, but I also went with that mentality, it's like, you know what, like, I don't own the world's problems, I can't help you pay certain points. I am not an ATM machine. I can't hardly believe that you would actually love me without even hearing my voice. And yeah, like in his Facebook page, it there wasn't much activity on there either. And that's one of the signs. Because yeah, I mean, you see, they get them to they get the victims to WhatsApp or um hangouts. So they don't need to do anything with the Facebook page because the victim rarely goes back to the Facebook page to have a look. So that's just really the little yeah, the little bow and arrow for the hunting. Dan Evans, you know, like photo of his puppy, which totally like had me drawn in. Because you know I have a soft spot for golden retriever puppies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I know a lot of the men that we've got on our page. I know them by the dog. And and I even know that, you know. Sometimes when you've got one of them and they'll use one of the other dogs, I'm thinking, oh, he's got so-and-so's dog on there. It's not even the right one. Because dogs mm -hmm. and children will attract women. So, you know, they, they know that... Um, oh, yeah. They know how to get to you. Just give me one second. I'm on... Somebody's just said... Oh, chat. Somebody's just said somebody's in messages and needs to talk with me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, yes. I mean, you got away looking. Yeah, and, and I you, did not you even know, you know that looking. this was a scam. Like, I, you know, like, I'm always on the watch out for scams. Like, things will start popping up on my phone. And, like, there's that spoof scam that's going on right now. And I'm like, this is a weird number. I don't trust it. I'm deleting it. I found out it's some kind of Russian spoof yeah. scam. I'm like, nope, you're not getting to me. Mm -mm. But, you know, you've got, um, you know, you were saying when you were talking to him for a, for a long time, and, and we get women coming to us and she'll say, oh, you talked night and day to us. Well, yeah. if you're a soldier, you're busy. Another thing, too. They haven't Well, seen. you know what, though? Like, what, he didn't talk to me all night and day, like, what I think he was doing, I think he was blocking me and then talking to other victims, but saying that it's working. Yes. Oh, you would have had a slot. Yeah, you would have had a slot. I mean, going back to it being different ones and, and a whole yeah. team doing it, they work shifts. Because if you think he's in West Africa, he's, he's scamming from Hawaii to New Zealand. So somebody's got to be there. For the whole of the uh, of the um, the time zones, so you know sometimes you get the same one, sometimes you'll get his friend, sometimes you'll get somebody different. There's there's so much yeah. copy and paste goes on. 
Yeah, and, and you know what I did, though? Like, just to try to see if, you know, like, there was inconsistencies. Like, oh, do you remember where I went to college? Or do you remember what my favorite Disney movie is? And he didn't respond for a little while. I'm like, ah, I think there's something there. And you know what? Like, he also uh, asked me, uh -huh. like, how a job interview was when I never mentioned anything about a job interview. Yeah. Yeah. So you got you mixed up with what? somebody else. Were you babe and honey? Oh, he Did he call you babe and love honey? And his darling. But yeah, he did call me babe later on too. Were you were you his No, no, did no. You get to be his queen. Oh, oh gee, I'm so sorry. sad. <laughs> oh, well this is it. You know, they really by the time you get to be their queen He's really sure of you, so no, I kept you saying, never got like, that far I can't with trust you anymore until I meet you in person. So, like, I always yeah. had my guard up, and I yeah. thought I was like Which... dodging a crazy mooch, whereas I was a dodging a scammer. Somebody, I, I somebody's uh, on the bottom. Is it, did he have a tree? It's, it's a little joke on our page because we once got one and the lady said to me, she said, well, actually, he's on the run. He's, uh, he's on the run because the rest of the military have pulled out and they've left him on his own. No, and he's living up a tree. tree. So I was, well, he's living up a tree, but yes, I recognise, Michelle, that it would be you. Um, and, and the thing was, he'd been living up this tree for two months. So we said to her, that's a good tree that you can, huh. you can plug your phone charger in. I wouldn't have thought of that, she said. So it is. And, and you know, I think by the time they get you carried along, some stories you would accept that you would not normally accept. Yeah. You kept your guard up. You were very sensible. But some people will just go along with it. And they believe. They believe anything and everything oh, yeah. which is quite sad katie really isn't it because you know you've got i always think about it you've got say there's 10 of them in it they like to work in hotel rooms because they've got wi-fi um so you've you've got 10 people who are sat there now you went on the uh, the dog page and you were liking dogs and you know you liked him so you've got those 10 people sat there and they're literally hunting they're hunting for women to see if you're gullible enough to go on to the next stage and start sending lots of money and making the bank accounts. So you've got a group of people who are telling lies from the first hello. The lie is, is, is the picture. Every single word that comes out of them to you is a lie. And it's oh, yeah. aimed at getting your money. After. It's like a song, like a player only you know? you when he's playing, and then I'm like, you know what? A scammer only loves you when he's scamming. There is no love in a romance scam. We always say that. In, in fact, it's just the opposite, because you've got to hate somebody pretty deeply to be able to lie to this level, to plead and beg for money, to make people feel bad when they don't send money. I mean, this thing about the food. If he doesn't like the food on the camp, so he's asking you to send a couple of hundred dollars for him to he's... go and get some food. Where's he going to go for it? Is it going to be Lebanon McDonald's or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, he did they think, don't it think it's true, though. He said that he was going to go with a bunch of guys, like, to a, like, a restaurant, like, an hour away from base. Or like a grocery store or something. Mm -hmm. get more and more clever. Yeah, I can't. But it 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 hurts me. It, it and it still does. I still have the same feeling that I had mm -hmm. the night I set up my first page. Um, I still have the same feeling because it's sort of um. They are. It's the ultimate insult. Because they're choosing you to lie to, to steal from, and to basically destroy. Because, you know, the thing is that um, they got $200 from you. What if they got $20,000? And, and, and 
they realised that 20,000, which is nothing nowadays, they couldn't get any more. So they're going to dump you off to getting 20 grand from you. And, you know, it's the ultimate. In, it I, is. I think it's, like, I think it's pure evil. Know, like, God's going to, like, do his thing with these scammers once they're dead. Oh, I always, I always tell them they've sold their soul to Satan. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have, basically, haven't they? You know. I, I just think it's, it's really evil. And also, you know, Every oh, yeah. single person wants to be loved. And to use the emotion of love for that theft oh, yeah. is down there with... It's like me losing $200 was not hardly a big deal, but then I was hearing stories about how people lost hundreds and thousands of dollars, and I was just getting to be more horrified the more digging I did with this. And then there was a lady I heard of, like, based on the yeah. FBI website, who had lost $2 million. Yes. Yeah. We've had a 2.2 million. That's the biggest one we've ever had is 2.2 million. That was a man, though. Um, and, and it goes from anything from $200, $500, is not unusual. Unbelievably, it is not. And 50, oh, yeah. 60, 70 is common. You know, and if you think, I mean, you know, when they were talking to you, they would have been talking oh, to yeah. 50 or 60 women. So even if you just got 200 from each of them, that's not bad. You know, and they don't, they get a lot. They get a lot of money from mm -hmm. the majority of people that they speak to. And it, it, it's just, but as we said off before we, we came on here, the only no, way, they're so not going to stop it. I'm trying to like come up with ways, as many ways as I can think of to stop this as much as possible. Like I was thinking, you know, like spreading awareness to church organizations because a lot of have support groups with divorce and grief. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of like calling some therapists who specialize in this area too. I'm just trying to find ways to extend this to like really destroy this scam. The thing is, the church groups is a really good idea because they use, I don't know whether yours used religion, but they use mm -hmm. religion a lot in well, scams. I, mine was not based on religion at all. And, and I just did not have a good feeling, and I'm glad I did not yeah, give that guy any more money. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is that you need to get across is the fact that you didn't have a good feeling. And from quite early on, and that's what we need to put in other people. We, we can't say to them, thou shalt not ever talk to strangers, because they will. I mean, we could, we could stop scams tomorrow, Katie, if we said, um, if, if you get a friend or a follower request from any stranger, it will be a scam, because that is 100% true. Real people don't yeah. do this. Real men don't do this. Um, but nobody's you know, listening to that, so we've got to work about hard doing thing. is like contact so, Facebook support and like maybe. Well, yeah, but like if somebody there isn't says one. that they're um like they're single or they're widowed and like they could have my YouTube like video pop up and like warn these people. Yeah, yeah, we've. But I think that they could if. And on my, my, I mean, I get a lot of friend requests from scammers every day still. Sometimes they're nice to me. Sometimes they're contacting me to abuse me. But, you know, it's amusing. Um, but then, you know, the, the messenger thing comes up. Do you know this person? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. If no, block, do not answer. So you have to actually press a button and say, no, go on, you know, I'll speak to him. So in a way they try, what I would like to see is on on feeds on the instagram the the facebook and the instagram feeds where they have mm -hmm. advertisements in the middle instead of having buy this pair of shoes or you know um buy from this people they could just put a little info thing beware scammers are working here if you go you know you go on the train you might see something on the platform pickpockets working here you know um because not 
enough people I know, know it, what they are doing. Like, I, it just, you know, like, I'm so used to this world, like, being full of scams at this point, but this one really bothers me the most, not just because I gave away $200, which isn't really a big deal, <laughs> it's just the fact that these scammers are taking advantage of these people who are, like, really devastated on some, level, like, from divorce, losing a yeah. spouse, and it's disgusting, yeah. it's despicable. And, and very often, even people that's lost a lot, they will say that, well, yeah, I can get over the money. I can put that back. I can work. I can write it off, which is nice, but I couldn't, but never mind. Um, but, you know, they'll say it, it's not the money. Yeah, it's the emotional too. damage. That, that you know, Some people will, you know, say to us, I'll, I'll never trust anybody again. And we try and say, well, you can just don't trust them online. Have a little bit of, you know, sort of a healthy non-belief online yeah. until they prove themselves because it's I, too easy. And you know what? From and now on, like problem. I've done a lot of online dating and I had never even come into contact with anything like this before my incident from last August. Yeah, yeah like from now on. He continuously refuses to FaceTime with me. I'm just going to come off. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, it's quite simple. You talk, mm -hmm. I answer. I talk, you answer. So, you know, there is no doubt that we are real people, that I'm talking to the real you. You're talking to the real me. Now, what happens is, they and it gets me every time, they will play them a pre-recorded video from their Instagram page, but the reception will be bad. So you can't actually talk and he's talking, but you can't actually hear what he's saying. But women say to me, but I saw him move. So it was him. It was really him. I saw him move. And they're convinced because once he's moving mm -hmm. around on a video, they don't need to speak. And we've got to get that mm -hmm. up. You want proper proof. Yes, like, you know what? Just a good rule of thumb. Like, do not ever give them your personal information mm -hmm. or any ever. Like, he can give you a tragic story, but you don't know if that's true. And a lot of times it isn't true. But even if it was, like, a, like a sincere person would not ask you for financial help. I, I would love to see as soon as money, cards, whatever is mentioned, they just get blocked. Because right. in real life, it wouldn't happen. It's like I, you know, I kick myself sometimes for falling, that, falling for that $200 for a gift card scam. But, you know, food has been my weakness. So it's like, you know what? It wasn't that much. I mean, he'll get his karma. <laughs> oh, I wish it was, I wish it was instant karma. I I just want you know I I yeah. I just want it to stop because it is it's so damaging. It's damaging for the men and the women that they use oh, as well. Yeah, they have a terrible time with it. You know, some of our most commonly used can hardly turn around for women contacting them, people phoning them all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, people turning up at their work. Yeah. Uh, one one of our one of our guys they found um his his work his you know senior um officers at work to sit to, and this woman said i'm really worried about him because i've just been on the phone to him and he's been crying and he's going to commit suicide so they thought this was a bit strange so they they called him and and they said are you okay are you really okay he says yeah i've just been playing football i'm driving home oh because we've just had word to say that you're suicidal. I know what it'll be. Unfortunately, I do have a suicide it. story. I'm, I was hoping I didn't have to share, but I'm from Michigan in the United States, and there is a teenage boy from Marquette that's, like, about at least six hours away from where I live, like, probably more like eight, but he committed suicide. He actually was a part of sextortion, so he was 
sending nude photos of himself to a supposed teenage girl when it was probably most likely a scammer, no doubt. And, like, he's, like, yeah. the, uh, the person said to him, oh, give me $300 or I'm going to show all your family and friends photos. So he gave person $300, but it was not enough, and he could not pay more money than that, and so he killed himself. It's awful. Mm -hmm. And the scammer, do you know, all, the, all that, that would mean to the scammer was he wasn't going to get any more money, so he'd have to move on. It means nothing at all to the scammer. They, they have absolutely no idea of emotion at all. No idea of feelings, no idea of consideration, nothing. As long as the bottom line is, you know, we heard from somebody this morning, and if Michelle's still on, um, who, who'd sent a lot of money, who'd sent six figures money. And when she couldn't send any more, he accused her of letting his friend's child die because she didn't pay the hospital bill. And he told her that the child had died, and the child had died because of her because she didn't pay the hospital bill. <laughs> yeah, thought you would be. Um, and I mean, that is despicable. How can any human treat another human like that? I don't care on color, I don't care on race. I mean, I'm often accused of being racist by them usually, but I'm often accused of being racist. I don't care about oh, race, I, am too. I care about good and bad people. Yeah. You know, if you're a yeah, bad person, I don't basic. like you. If you're a good person, I do. Yeah, the, like concerning yeah, the sex extortion, I also want to point out to everyone who's listening, like, do not ever get undressed when you're when you're any of your electronics are still on. Like, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> yeah, go into your bathroom. Do not take your phone yep. or your laptop or anything electronic with you. Because, like, you don't know who's on the internet, and you don't know how advanced of a techie they are. Like, they could even, like, message you and blackmail you. Like, give me money, or I'm going to distribute this. And it's very, very simple for them to have a nice little romantic, sexy night. Gets a little bit hot, gets a little bit sexy. Let me see. Let me see. Take, take your clothes off and let me see. Do things to yourself right. and let me see. And women do it. Yeah. And unfortunately, Not women me. of all ages oh, do it. Um, <laughs> and there you are. Honestly, you'd run a mark right up with people's no, like, There's no way I would do that until I would have like, an established, like, in person relationship no. with them. You'd have to, well, this is it. He would have to be stood next to me. There's no, no way, no way that anybody should, you know do it on there but you know they do you know and and yes as michelle is saying uh, scammers have a little thing where they like to go to anti-scam pages like ours and send them the naked pictures i have seen more lady bits of 70 year old oh, women than you would girl. ever imagine but they said to us and this is so and so do you know her you know She's going to have to pay me sort of thing. Then they get a bit of a shock at us because obviously we're not, we're not shocked. We're angry, which they don't expect. Um, but it, it's, uh, you know, once they've done that and once they've said I know it, that's they why. It's life. like I said, like, don't ever get undressed when your electronics are on and do not agree to that with an online stranger. No. 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 Do not show your face. You have to say no to everything, I think. I think you have to say, as I say, I think you just have to say no to, I'd like people just to say no to everything. If they, if it's a genuine man, he will, and he really likes you, he will do everything he can mm -hmm. to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel that I think when we meet, we're going to get on really well and jog along and talk along until you can actually meet. And oh yeah, I think absolutely. That's what would with a real like man. no real man or even woman in many cases would ever ask for money or for you to like send them nude photos. Yeah. Like we, you don't even personally know them. 
Katie, we've had pictures of women going trying wedding dresses on, buying wedding dresses for when he comes home because they've arranged the marriage. They can really get people taken so far along with it. And some of it you can think is a bit funny, if, but to those people who mm -hmm. are the victims, it is real to them. And it doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter your educational capacity, it doesn't matter. You know anything. what? And it's for all cruelty. the viewers out there, just remember an online relationship is not a real one until you've at least met them personally. And you Next. have to meet them personally because yeah. you, know, you have to have that proof. It's a, you know, we know it's a bad world. We know there's bad people out there. So why, if they come to you and say they love you, do they do they not get away with yeah. maybe he's a bad person? You know? You keep a watch on the oh, top. Okay, I, I can't see a time. You. It'll come and tell you when I think it's the last okay, one or two minutes. It will flash up at the top. So if it hasn't, we're all right. And then when we are finished, it will ask you. If, oh, it will ask you if you want to share it to your page. So, sh and then I'll I'll take yeah, it and put it on ours from your page. Because like yes, there's tons of scams oh. out in the world, but I really I'm determined to end the romance scams. Like I'll even go beyond Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all the social media platforms because not everyone uses them really. So it's I think. I mean, dating sites, uh, dating sites, wouldn't you thought mm -hmm. if your business was dating, you, you would pay more attention to the people that came on your site? Because you can look at any site and it's half, half scammers because we know all the pictures and, you know, and you sort of can see it, but dating sites are full of scammers. Now, we can say, you know, don't, don't get involved with a stranger on Facebook and Instagram, but of course, on a dating site, yeah, you are looking for a stranger. But, so it's yeah, not a so good rule of thumb though different. is like one of them is like nag them to FaceTime with you. If they keep refusing, like just forget them all together. Mm -hmm. And and you know we say things like if they come on a video call and you can't see it, you can you know you can't hear it, you can't. And they're playing you something. Tell them to do something. You know, tell them to hold two fingers up or something like that. Because what you'll find, what everybody will find, is the video. Because they're paying, because they're playing you a video. Of his, you know, he's probably talking about his dog on his Instagram page. And they're playing you it. But as soon as people see them yeah, move, Yeah, but still, like a, good, a good rule of thumb is, like, never, ever give anyone your personal information on that. Like... No. But a real person... No, wouldn't they wouldn't. Ask, Katie, would they, they wouldn't. You're right. Like... I mean, I, I often sort of... One of our other admins, Pam, or even Michelle, was on here. I've, mo I've known them a long time. But if I said to them, oh, my phone's not working very well. Can I borrow your credit card and I'll order a phone on it and then I'll give you the money back next month. If a friend of yours exactly. did that, you would say, whoa, no. So, so why would you do it if it was a strange person on the Yeah, line, like the, they make up the most disgusting excuses. Oh, well, my child is sick. Oh, I have to hurry back home to my sick mom. It's always a tragic excuse like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It always is. Oh, yeah. And they, they love tragedy. And, you know, it, it's like... It's like using the worst that can happen in life and then using what everybody looks for in life, which is, again, I say love. And they're using love to get to people they're using tragedy to get to people if you'll let the tragedy mm -hmm. get to you you're a nice person they are actively hunting oh yeah. nice um, people to destroy you know that, what like to all the nice people who awful. are watching like you can still be nice and keep your guard up to a stranger it's okay i did it and no regrets 
Yeah. But you get to the edge of it. You get to the edge of the road, and you look, you know, to see what's coming before you cross. You don't look to. You don't just get to the edge of the road, yeah. walk across, and hope the bus doesn't hit you. So why is why is anything online any different? Absolutely, You've got there's to nothing things, wrong with looking after yourself first, especially with someone you've never even met in person. And a nice mm -hmm. person, Katie, that... would understand that. If he was genuine and he was nice, yeah, he I would know. understand that. But you know what? These romance scammers, they absolutely love the military the best, it seems. Because, like, they can come up with even more slew of, of excuses as to why they can't meet. And, yeah, like, I just learned this recently, like, most military members who have been in there for a while, they'll have a .mil email address, so you could ask them for that, and if they're confused or they refuse to give mm -hmm. it to you, that's already an indicator right there, or, like, the military ID badge, like, they'll share a military ID badge with their victim to build trust, whereas member would not do that they don't want their to do. information out there can't say i blame them no. or like the, the it's a security breach if they do or so yeah they, like they and a lot of times the scammers will lie and say that they can't meet you person because they're deployed and if they think that they're deployed for over two years you already know yeah. they're like they're scamming you because like a a deployment does not last for any more than two years, but it's typical for it to last for about 15 months. Well, six to eight months is, is, is you know, um, usual ones. And they can, when they're not on duty, they can go and they can voice call and they can video call wherever they are. And the other thing that gets me is they will say, I can't do that because yeah. I'm on a secret mission. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, spies are a little bit more secret mm. than going on Instagram, picking somebody up, telling them what they're in. They are telling them, you know, I love you, but I can't talk to you because I'm on a secret You know what? The like, the thing that, one of the things that angers me the most about these <laughs> military scams is that, like, these military guys, the real guys, are victims, even. Like, I, when I had called Dan Evans, yeah. like, I felt so bad for him after... Yeah, we talk to quite a lot of them um, that, you know, they, they come to us and we talk to quite a lot of them and some just don't know where to turn. Yeah. Because and it's so bad. Like, not everybody realizes that they're being scammed and then they go at, like, they find the real person, God forbid, and go after them. And that's where empathy would come in for someone like Dan Evans, for example. Yeah. On Tuesday, I've got a, a live chat with a, with a guy called Dustin Capps. Dustin and I do regular live chats. He's still serving. And he's he's really good because he gives us all our military advice. You know, because it's better coming from him. He knows ex everything. Um, and, and he's very, very interesting to listen to. He really is. He just tells it as it is. It can't be this. It can't be this. It can't be this. And he's, he's really very, very good. And that's what we need. But we need people to exactly to listen and And that's learn. why I'm trying to think of every way I can possibly, like, extend my outreach, like, with the church groups, with therapists. Yeah. Like, have the therapists get this. As I say, they're not going to stop it because it's too easy. So they're not going to stop it. We know it's too easy in Nigeria, in West Africa. Um, they don't need to work. They can just scam and get 10 times more than they ever could in the job. So they're not going to, they're not going to get arrested. So they're not going to stop mm -hmm. it. So we've got to stop that's it by spreading my awareness. Instagram I I, like, like, that's yeah. why I turned myself into a yeah. wrong scam awareness host. Yeah, because what I would like to get, and you, I know I'm going to agree with this. That when somebody gets a request and they look, they can look at it and think, oh, that's one of those scammers and just get rid of it. So it never goes anywhere. I know. That's it, the like, level that we need to get I to. want everyone in the world, like, aware of this scam. So it, it can, like, stop yeah. altogether because it's wrong. It is. It, like, 
it's evil gone on reddit like, it is at times evil. and i've like made these comments because there are divorce groups on there it's like whatever you do romance scams are on the rise do not fall for that yeah yeah so yeah so we, I, i'm i'm gonna cut this off because if you get on too long it might not save it that's the only thing that that worries me oh about absolutely it. but we'll do it again anytime i would be happy to do this again so yeah, and I'll invite you onto our our page, and we'll do one oh, through our awesome. page um, as well. And then, because yeah, and then oh we'll yeah, just I'm reach down as to many that. people Absolutely. as we can. Oh, thank you good. for agreeing to and this, and thank you. You got our backing. <laughs> yes, have a good night. Thanks, Katie. We will talk Bye. again. Okay.